Now, another hot zip code on Unzipped, sponsored by Engel and Volkers. Chances are you've probably heard of the Quad Cities consisting of Florence, Tuscumbia, Sheffield, and Muzzle Shoals. This area, commonly called the Shoals, known for its music and American history. The Shoals is also a great place to live with four different cities. There's a little something for everyone there. Let's unzip the 35661 with our Nixon Norman. This month, we take things to the Shoals. This area is the Quad Cities, composing of Florence, Muscle Shoals, Tuscumbia, and Sheffield. And those four cities extend over two different counties. Florence is in Lauderdale County, and Tuscumbia, Sheffield, and Muscle Shoals are all located in Colbert County. Each one of these cities have their own personal flair, and we'll dive a bit into each. But just as I and England Volkers, Kara Mobley, started, we'll also begin in Tuscumbia, Alabama. The Shoals area has so much rich history, and Tuscumbia is great. Uh, Tuscumbia is home of Helen Keller, so Helen Keller birthplace, and also the Tennessee Valley Arts Museum, uh, so a lot of great art culture there. With Tuscumbia being the birthplace of Helen Keller, it's also the birthplace of the Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind. With Keller being born in 1880, there's bound to be remnants of other old homes in Tuscumbia as well. And actually, what Mobley tells me about the homes here goes for all four of these cities. There are older homes, but also there is a lot of new construction happening there as well. With a mix of older and newer homes, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in the Shoals. And speaking of old to new, the city of Sheffield, like most of these historic cities, has an old time feel, but it's constantly changing and evolving. The Ritz Theater is a really great area in downtown Sheffield, and uh, they, they do seem to have an up and coming atmosphere. As we move things over to Muscle Shoals, there's one question that has always come to my mind, and that is, why is this place named Muscle Shoals? What I heard about Muscle Shoals was it was named that when people first came here, there were a lot of mussels, uh, the sea creature, on the banks of the river here, and so they named it Muscle Shoals, um, even though they spelled it muscle like on your arm like your bicep muscle but that's kind of that's what I heard apparently no one actually knows for sure how the city got its name but there are a couple of theories out there as Mobley mentioned at one time there may have been piles of mussels along the shoals of the Tennessee River and another is that the shape of the river itself looks like a man's arm or muscle now that we've ventured through Colbert County let's end things off in Lauderdale with Florence. It's a small city, but it's got a lot of great amenities for people living in the area. It's only an hour away from Huntsville. It's only two hours away from Nashville. Um, and for people who are interested in the arts, the community theater here is very vibrant. Not only has Florence been designated as a 2022 Tree City USA for the 36th consecutive year, it's also home to one of the few federal buildings in the nation that still combines a post office and a federal courthouse beneath one roof. Oh, I love the post office. It's a beautiful building uh, that, that it's kind of a, what, what would you call it? I was curious for both Mobley and myself. So I did some research and it seems to be some sort of Greek revival architecture, but that's not the only piece of history living in Florence. W.C. Handy or the father of the blues was also born in Florence. W.C. Handy is the father of the blues and he is from Florence. Uh, there is a museum here. His house is here, you can tour. Really making the Shoals a place of music, history, and music history. With this month's Unzipped, I'm Nixa Dorman, Fox 54 News.